Hello, I'm Amir Fassel. In this video, we will make a sentence generator program. Our computer program will generate syntactically correct random English sentences. This program is from the book Paradigms of Artificial Intelligence Programming, Case Studies in Common Lisp by Peter Norvig. Um, basically, we have to give feed in the, the English grammar, not the entire English grammar, but only a tiny portion of the English grammar. And our computer program will generate sentences. We will give uh, a set of rules and a lexicon. That means a group of words, a set of words. We will give a set of rules and a set of words and we say, oh, this is a noun phrase, this is an article, this is a verb phrase. And our program will generate random sentences. So each words are categorized into different lexical categories and we, we give all those details to the program. Okay. And this is not really how we human beings generate sentences. We human beings are capable of uh, language production. We, we, we make language, we, we say sentences and we write sentences, whatever. Not exactly this way. This is a superficial way of doing, doing it, but nonetheless, this is a good exercise. Okay? The type of uh, description, the grammar we use here is called context-free phrase structure grammar. Context-free phrase structure grammar. It is context-free in the sense that it doesn't really look at the surrounding words uh, when, we, when it makes sentences. Okay? Uh, it doesn't really care about the context. That's why, why context-free. When we say context, we mean out of context, you know, when we normally say context, the situation, the surrounding meaning. So this might create syntactically correct sentences, maybe semantically incorrect sentences. Semantics means meaning. Syntax, the order, the word order, the grammar rules, but semantics means the meaning, right? So the meaning might be wrong. Um, it might produce some really stupid sentences, but we like to belittle these tiny robots and computers, don't we? <laughs> Until they kill us. Okay. Um, so what exactly is a sentence? We can say a sentence is a noun phrase followed by a verb phrase. For example, uh, the cat likes the fish. The cat likes the fish. The cat is a noun phrase and likes the fish is a verb phrase, right? So the cat is a noun phrase. What exactly is a noun phrase? So a noun phrase is an article followed by a noun. What are articles? Articles are the, a, and an. So indefinite article, definite article, and indefinite uh, articles, indefinite articles and the definite article, the. So that's an article. And what exactly is a verb phrase? In the above example, we said the cat, uh, the cat likes the fish. Likes the fish is a verb phrase. What exactly is a verb phrase? Uh, it is verb followed by a noun phrase. What is a verb? Verb is an action word. Verb drink, took, liked, or ran, run, um, eat, drink, whatever. So that's a verb phrase. So um, what exactly is a noun? Nouns are names, right? Names of things. Frog, man, ball, table, um, things like that. Mouse, computer, uh, camera, light, <laughs> anything. So nouns, nouns, verbs, articles. And we give these rules to the computer and the computer will generate the sentences, okay? So let's do this. We do this in Common Lisp programming language. Common Lisp is a Lisp family language. Okay. Open, open up a GNU Emacs and I'm using 
GNU Emacs with Slime for Common Lisp Programming. So uh, Slime and uh, yeah, so this is Slime. Uh, so uh, first we have to define a uh, sentence, right? Sentence procedure. So define is for defining procedures. Define sentence, then there is no arguments. Um, append function, append function will j basically uh, append to lists so append then noun phrase and verb phrase procedures we are calling them there we have to define it uh, later so now yeah say define noun phrase so noun front noun phrase procedure and no parameter list again noun phrase is the, the procedure name then append article and noun so now define a verb phrase and the next procedure and in verb phrase we have to append verb and noun phrase so that's a verb phrase right so uh, that's the verb phrase now um, the new uh, procedure define article so article is the a and the so we just say one of we have to define that procedure later so one of the or a basically we have to choose random from a and the so define uh, noun and again another one of uh, use of one of procedure one of mm, uh, let's give some uh, uh, words for noun so man ball woman table frog these are nouns robot <laughs> let's make it interesting so some uh, nouns and the one of procedure will randomly pick uh, among these uh, list of nouns okay now define verb uh, um, now we have to do the same with the verb and one of some verbs so with the quotation marks we can actually make the list uh, run hit took so light this is the list uh, drink this is the list and the verb procedure will pick among these list of uh, verbs so yeah now we have to create the one-off procedure so define one-off uh, set and set is the argument here so in this procedure there is an argument and pick one element of set and make a list of it so that it yields a list so that's why we have to do list procedure and list procedure random element procedure set which is the argument uh, so uh, in the next procedure we uh, we create a random element procedure so a random element basically like the name implies it will take a, an element out of those choices so choose an element from a list of random uh, listed random so uh, ELT function element function element function is basically it it takes uh, the, the it takes the element at the position that we specify so random length choices here we used random uh, procedure random procedure will uh, take get the random uh, uh, element okay so let's check the sentences sentence the ball like the robot wow that's a random sentence a woman saw a robot the woman run a frog a woman hit a table a woman hit took the ball the table like the ball, the ball drink a man, the woman run a frog, a table took a frog, the woman liked a woman, wow, some lesbian, the ball took the man, hmm, yeah, the frog, so noun phrase, the frog, wow, noun phrase, the ball, noun phrase, a ball, there is only two uh, to choose, from two, only two words to choose for the article, so that's why the, the, then a. Uh, verb phrase took a table hit the frog run the table wow now verb phrase saw the woman mm -hmm. article a article that see all these are lists it's returning lists this is the good thing about common lisp a lisp in general uh, things are so easy you don't have to print and all those things <laughs> so noun is frog noun woman noun table see in random we can see different uh, words uh, verb run 
uh, call the function verb again hit verb again hit uh, so now do the tracing tracing is a feature in common lisp and it's so beautiful uh, we can trace actually what's like what exactly happening in the procedures when we trace so trace sentence noun phrase let's trace all those procedures that we created trace sentence noun phrase verb phrase article noun verb okay now um yeah trace sentence oh sentence is already traced yeah we we already did the tracing we, we just have to call the function sentence <laughs> so okay uh sentence and we can see oh see sentence there is this the final sentence is the table like the man and for the article it it chooses it chosen the then noun the noun returned table so the noun phrase is the table and verb phrase um uh, verb returned liked and the verb phrase was like the man so the table like the man that's how it happened so again a table run the ball so see a table run the ball the the noun phrase is a table verb phrase is run the ball so a table run the ball good computer poetry noun phrase so the article the and frog is the noun uh, and the frog is the answer so noun phrase again the man the, again a woman see it's beautiful how it is choosing all these um uh, words article the returned the uh, it's not so complicated so easy article a and verb verb returned so verb returned hit verb uh, phrase let's try verb phrase hit the ball hit is the verb and the article and ball subscribe to my youtube channel and click on that bell icon to get notifications so that i can disturb you whenever i upload a video and thanks for watching